This is Reolink's RLC 1212A and this is a 12 megapixel IP PoE NVR camera and it also has a wider field of view. Is this gonna be a good addition to your home security setup? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check and review Reolink's 12 megapixel IP PoE NVR camera, the RLC 1212A. We will check out its features, do the unboxing, set it up, install, and run our usual tests. And check out its video and audio quality and see if this RLC 1212A is a good addition to your NVR or IP PoE camera system. Now I'll do a separate video comparing this to Reolink's regular 8 megapixel 4K camera. I have to review this by itself first. So if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button below. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and I appreciate it. Let's check out its features. This is a 12 megapixel PoE camera and have the person and vehicle AI detection, like Reolink's other cameras. It has color night vision that has a spotlight which will record in full color at night. It has two-way audio which we will check out the audio quality later on. And it has multiple recording options. You can install a micro SD card up to a 256 gigabyte card on the back of the camera. Or you can use the Reolink NVR or an FTP server. And it can record 24-7 continuously or only during motion events or you can schedule it. This is an outdoor camera and is weather resistant with an IP66 rating. For specific specs, it records up to 4096 by 2784 pixel resolution at 20 frames per second. Field of view is 107 degree horizontal and 66 degrees vertical. It does have infrared night vision up to 100 feet. And as to the spotlight, it is a white 6500 Kelvin light and 700 lumens bright. Time to open up the box. We have the window decal, a mounting template, waterproof lid installation guide, and a quick start guide. And we have the waterproof lid, and we have the mounting screws and plastic anchors. And we have this short ethernet cable. And we have the camera itself. And this has the same footprint as their other bullet cameras, so it is pretty compact. And I thought this is going to be bigger. All aluminum metal construction. We have the infrared illuminator here, and we have the regular spotlight on top. We have the light sensor and the camera lens. On the bottom, we have the mic and the speaker. And on the back, we have the screwed-in cover for the micro SD card slot. As for connection, we have the reset switch, and we have the 12-volt power port if needed if it is not an NVR or PoE setup. Then we have the Ethernet port. Let's set this up, and I'll be demoing setting up using the PoE connection and not the NVR. So I have a PoE injector here, and I'll plug in the Ethernet cable to the camera's Ethernet port. Download and open up the Reolink app. Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Scan the QR code which is in the bottom of the camera, and it will show up in the app pretty quick. Tap on it to finish setting up. Create a device password, and click Next. Name the camera, which I'll name mine RLC 1212A. Click next and setup is finished. You also have an option to save the camera's QR code to your phone's album if needed. Click on the camera's thumbnail and it will load up the live view. Time to install this. Loosen the collar of the mount so that the camera will not be in the way while you screw it in using the three included screws. One thing I like about Reolink's ball joint mount design now is that you don't need a hex wrench or a screwdriver to adjust the camera's position. Just loosen the collar with your hand, position the camera, and tighten it which is way easier than before. Let's check out the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see the last snapshot from the camera. Click on it which should go to live view and it does load up pretty quick. In here, you can pause the live view, turn on the speaker, take a snapshot, or record the live view. You can change the resolution of the live view from fluent to full resolution, which is not really needed when you're just viewing it from your phone. And for the app to be responsive, I'll keep this to low or fluent. On top, we have the bell to manually activate the siren. You can turn on the spotlight, which at night will also switch the camera to color mode. On the bottom, we have the mic for two-way audio, and this is full duplex. Playback is where you can see the recorded footage, which is both in a timeline and also a thumbnail of events. You can also sort out the recordings to just show person detected events, and you can move the red cursor on the timeline to around the time of the recordings you want to see. 
click on the thumbnail and it will play the recorded event. And even if you only record person detected events, there is a pre-roll or pre-recording. You can download the recorded footage here to your phone and make sure it is in clear mode to get the full resolution. Click the gear icon to get to the camera settings. In display, you can see a lot of settings that can be changed. I'll just show you the quality. In clear mode, you will see that this 12 megapixel camera can record 4096 by 2784 pixel resolution and the frame rate is maxed out on this mode to 20 FPS. But you can also change it to 3840 by 2160 which is the same as their 8 megapixel cameras and the frame rate goes up to 25 frames per second. You can also change the bit rate from here. One thing I'm going to show you and this setting is not available on my other Reolink PoE cameras and I'll tell you why I needed it later on the video. On the advanced, there is the black and white two color threshold option and I'll tell you more about this later on. On the detection alarm, it has detection zones and you can adjust this sensitivity. Motion sensitivity, which I set it to the highest and on smart detection, you can dial it in more and you can adjust the person sensitivity, which I also change it to the highest for my testing later on. There is also the alarm delay, which is another setting that I think is new and we'll be testing this out more in my future videos because this is pretty good if it works for the camera not to alert you of passing cars or passing people but will notify you if the vehicle parks or somebody stops for a certain length of time in front of your house. As to the camera recording, you have an option to record 24-7 or in a schedule using the timer option or just record all motion events or when person and or vehicles are detected. Then the push notifications and you can set it so that you'll only be notified when the camera detects a person. On the advanced settings on the spotlight, you can adjust the mode, close or off, auto which it will turn on when it detects motion or you can schedule it and you can adjust the brightness from here. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of Reelinks RLC 1212A and the video clarity test. This is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 45 50 Running my test So going into night time I noticed that the camera didn't change into night vision mode compared to my other cameras and this is not a low light camera as you can see how dark the footage is and night vision is an auto I thought first that I have a bad unit but I double checked on the settings and this is where I found the black and white and color switching threshold which you can actually dial the sensitivity of the camera's light sensor which I think is cool that it is adjustable. So on mine I have to lower it down for it to switch to night vision mode. Alright so I'm just gonna show you guys how bright the uh, spotlight of the RLC 1212A that's what it looks like and it is 700 lumens bright and it is white light and that's how bright it is it's not as bright but it's good enough for the camera so this is the uh, video quality of the Reolink RLC 1212A at night and this with its spotlight uh, motion activated turned on and this one looks like at 10 feet 15 So this is the video quality of the Reolink RLC 1212A at night and this with its two infrared night vision turned on 
and the spotlight is off. So this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15. 20. 25 30 So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Reolink RLC 1212A and I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1252 so let's check it out that's pretty quick as always when you push and hold there's still no rich notifications but when you click on it it should go to live view <laughs> and it loads up pretty quick as it is very windy all right cool all right so it is still 1253 so it's been less than a minute and then we will see what the cool off on the notification on the real link rlc 1212a that is pretty good it's pretty quick so there's barely a cool off and with lte connection it loads up the live view pretty quick too we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the RLC 1212A and I've set the uh, maximum motion detection sensitivity to the highest and also the uh, uh, smart person detection to the highest. So let's check it out. Let's go uh, my fence line. And it is pretty windy in here. There you go. At 50 feet, it was able to detect me Woo. hopefully the audio is okay there you go and it loads up pretty quick this is the audio quality coming out from the real link rlc 1212a this is the audio quality coming out of the real link rlc 1212a So what do you think guys? As to video quality, and now I'll do a separate video on this comparing it with other Reolink cameras, but I can tell you there is not a lot of difference that you can see between an 8 megapixel 4K camera to this 12 megapixel one. But it has one advantage, and that is the field of view, which is wider and probably the widest that Reolink makes for their IP PoE line of cameras, and that is 107 degrees horizontal. The only thing I noticed, and even their Wi-Fi cameras have this issue, is that their video frame rate lowers down at night. Also, I'm not sure why Reolink hasn't made a PoE IP camera that has a low light or starlight sensor yet, which a lot of other camera companies have been doing for a while now. Two-way audio and siren works pretty good, and their AI person detection, which where I set the notification on this camera, and even with the highest sensitivity, I didn't have any false alerts, even with the high winds lately in our area. And it's pretty spot on when you get in the frame of the camera, you will get detected. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.